Just few days ago, depending on the time you are seeing this video, Techno released their camera phone of the year which are the Camon 19, 19 Pro and 19 Pro 5G. It is a pretty device just looking at it and picking it up adds a premium feel to it thanks to the matte finish and boxy build that doesn't correlate with the contour of the human palm. Techno really upped their game in the Camon 19 onto the 19 Pro 5G, but with me here is the 19 Pro which has a Helio G96 processor for MediaTek, 6.8 inches IPS LCD panel and 8GB of RAM up to 5GB of memory fusion and 256GB of internal storage. It is equipped with 64MP main sensor with optical image stabilization and RGB W crystal glass lens all powered by a regular 5000mAh battery. They were nice enough to include the NFC feature on the Camon 19 Pro which will ease file transfer between different gadgets such as your camera. These are basically some specifications in the Camon 19 Pro but the main reason for making this video is to highlight what Techno actually did well and what they didn't get right which are the pros and cons of the Techno Camon 19 Pro. So should you get the Camon 19 Pro or should you just jump to the Camon 19 Pro 5G? My answer is yes and no. By the end of this video you will understand why my answer was yes and no. So kindly sit back and relax, let's get into the video. For $280, here are the 6 proteins about the Camon 19 Pro. We have a premium design and finish, 120Hz refresh rate display, 8GB of RAM paired with 256GB of internal storage, 64MP main sensor with RGBW crystal glass with optical image stabilization, NFC feature and Android 12 which is upgradable to Android 13. The design and finish of the Techno Camon 19 Pro looks and feels premium for a device at this level. Its boxing nature allows it to stand on its own just like this. The 120Hz refresh rate makes using this device smooth and snappy, especially when gaming, just that it can have a toll on the battery life but you can still set it up to auto so that the refresh rate can shoot between 120 to 60Hz. I wish they used the new LTPO display technology that could let the refresh rate go down to 0Hz which will help save battery life. I like that at $280, you are getting an 8GB RAM paired with 256GB of internal storage because at this range you are mostly getting 128GB of internal storage which tends to get filled up at times. You will also get an SD card slot if you wish for more space. The best part of the Techno Camon 19 Pro is the camera system. Techno really did a nice job here with the 64 megapixel sensor, 50 megapixel telephoto, 2 megapixel depth, all located in a dual rounded camera module, which is now a standard module for camera placement these days. In the front, you have a 32 megapixel lens in a punch hole cutout. The camera takes wonderful pictures from the rest so you can go out with this device and capture images and videos that will really wow your audience. Techno mentioned that the glass on the rear camera, specifically the main 64 megapixel sensor, uses the RGBW crystal glass lens which was co-designed with Samsung. They said that this will allow more light into the camera lens to produce clearer image while still strong enough to resist scratches. Here are the images from the rear and front camera of the Techno Camo 19 Pro. This time around, Techno added the NFC feature which stands for Near Field Communication on the Techno Camo 19 Pro. This can allow easy file transfer or sending signals for payment. This feature is something to have on a device because there are some days you might forget to bring your debit card with you but with this device you can add your debit card through the Techno Wallet app on the Camon 19 Pro and this will allow you to be able to pay for anything anywhere with just your smartphone by touching the back of your phone to the payment device. On the software side, the Techno Camon 19 Pro runs on Android 12 with HIOS 8.6 as Techno Skin UI. They say that it is upgradable to Android 13. That is, if you are getting this device to use for about 2 to 3 days, you won't be losing out on any new Android features that comes with every Android version. Now, over to the cons, which are the things I don't like that could make you not to spend your $280 on the Camon 19 Pro. They are the IPS LCD panel, Helio G96, absence of wide angle camera, no 4K video support, no stereo speakers, and the software experience. 
The IPS LCD panel is a no-no for me because having an AMOLED panel here would have been awesome. I'm not saying that the LCD panel on the Camo 19 Pro is not okay. Of course, the LCD here looks great, but an AMOLED panel would have been a great deal to have on this amazing device. The Camo 19 Pro is equipped with the MediaTek Helio G96 processor. This is a good processor, but for most heavy tasks like continuous picture and video editing, it will struggle or even while playing graphics demanding games will have a toll on it because it will get hotter, which will throttle down the performance. That is when you will start noticing lags. I wish they used a Dimensity chip here. Maybe this could be a significant reason to jump over and get the Camo 19 Pro 5G if you want to enjoy more graphics intensive stuff without any lag. A wide angle lens is now a must to have on a device, but here on the Camon 19 Pro, I like the fact that it has a telephoto lens, but the 2 megapixel depth is of no use for me since with the help of software, we can still get a proper depth of field effect on a portrait's picture with this. They could have used that space to give us a wide angle lens. Still again, no 4K support on the Camon 19 Pro. The max resolution is capped at 2K which doesn't have any form of stabilization except at 1080p where you get to use the optical image stabilization. I feel it is off not to have a 4K here. The Helio G96 can support 4K video but seeing that they just gave us 2K really offs me. But you can still get 4K if you use a third party app like Filmic Pro to shoot videos but I don't know how good of a 4K it will be but last last now 4K video be that. The speakers really sound good. I saw these huge speaker grills at the top and I thought that they are stereo speakers on the Camo 19 Pro but no. So you get to lose out on high bases but the vocals are clear enough but not too loud to fill up a room with the whole sound. I can say that the speakers are quite terrible for a device like this even with all the thick bodies. I feel they could have used some of the spaces in that thick build or body to add a stereo speaker. When I compared it with the Redmi Note 11S speakers which have a stereo speakers, the sound from the Redmi was good and better compared to the one on the Camo 19 Pro. Now one major part of the Camo 19 Pro is the software experience. Techno really tried the polishing of their software experience but there is still some Bluetooth that usually interferes with the user experience. For me, it is a turn off. You can prevent all these ads by blocking them from the notification shed. Generally, the Techno Camo 19 Pro is a great device, but there are still some areas where I feel they didn't get things right. That's why they made the Camo 19 Pro 5G with the same exact spec but with a higher and better processor, which is the Dimensity 810 chip. This can serve for heavy users, especially for gamers. Let me know in the comment section below what is your best part of the Techno Camo 19 Pro. And that's been it for this video. If you enjoyed it, kindly hit the like button and share. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. My name is Derek, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.